right, today's Saturday, uh, April 16th, 2022. We're going to be putting some work in on this frame here. Uh, where we left off last time was we got the wishbone mounted and uh, we started work on the cross member. So I think what we're going to do today, we did get the plasma in. Yes, welder, I think it's an Amazon brand. Man, that thing works great. Cuts three eighths like butter. So if we're going to whack out this this uh, cross member lip right here and put that plate on do around the AR mounts with the pieces that came with and possibly flip it over and see what we got possibly flip it over I think I think once we flip it over it's gonna it's gonna go downhill real quick pieces should be, go really easy so we we'll be doing some work on the frame today. That's the plan. I still need to buy a piece here. I don't know why the, it didn't come with the piece right there. And of course, drill out the holes for the motor mounts. So we get moving around here, move some stuff around. I'll bring you guys back once we start working. So we cut the lip off, welded the two together, grinded them smooth, and then put this piece on. Mm -hmm. So next up is going to be these mounts. I need to buy some steel for that and for that where that fuel pump goes. There's how the kit came. Yeah. I don't know why. I, I think because the shakes go this way and it goes down too. It'd be hard to get a piece for that. I think when we do, we do three piece. One going down here, one going down there, and one in the middle. So where is it? Where the fuel pump goes, yeah. So next up is these AR mounts, which is gonna need some trimming, but So uh, we always put these two pieces, man. The eighth inch really bends really good with this plastic hammer. No hammer marks. Of course, it's all going to get welded and molded and grind down. Where we did the driver's side, we got one more piece on this. And I think we could flip the frame over. Of course, I still, we still got to get this and the cross member, but I need to buy the steel for that. So one more piece up here, and we're ready to flip it over. Yeah, buddy. Hey, uh, sure. so we just flipped this thing over. We took it off the rotisserie, put on some salt horses, and then flipped it over. Start over. Okay. So we just flipped this thing over to work on the bottom half. We finished the AR mounts. We finished everything on the top except the last piece of the cross number that I had to buy and I cut. So now what we're going to do. As you can see we have the overages here. Excess, excess, excess. So we gotta trim it all down and then bring it closer. 
see a gap right here? That, that needs to come in a little bit if it will. And tack tack. So you want it as snug as possible? As, as close up to the metal as possible. You can see it has some loop mm -hmm. So, bottom of the cross member also. That needs to be trimmed. This is what we recessed back. I don't think we recessed that much. Did we? Probably an inch? I don't think. Maybe half of that. We have excess coming out the front that needs to be cut down. And then we're going to notch. Once we put this middle section here, we have to notch for the drive shaft. Probably all the way up to about right here. A big notch. If not, when you lift, when you lift the back up, your drive shaft is going to hit right here. And you're gonna you're gonna uh, you're gonna break your carrier down. drive shaft because it's one of, when you lock the car up it's going to want to come out of course it's upside down right now you got to do a little repair job on that which that was just, that's the same area as we did previously on the side it's got to come off and hard mount but well, i think we're definitely on the downhill slope from previously Side, the tops are done, the sides are done, but we need the bottom, and then the back uh, the back part, we have to take it off the rotisserie, do that, put it on the sawhorse, that's easy. That's it. So, put this piece on first side. Yes, we're waiting for this piece. Spread this body. Cool. So first, what? We just bring them all close. Yeah. Attack them. Go along. So we do the whole frame. Do the whole frame like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's easy. Okay. Yeah, man. And that's called uh, trimming everything. Yep. And then we we'll probably run out of gas by this time. Run out of. Uh, I finally figured out where this goes. This one's not labeled, so I don't know where it went. <laughs> I know, man. We were wondering, like, does it go uh, on the cross member or what? We didn't know, but now we know. So here we are. We got it wrapped up for the for the day. Uh, what we did is we uh, got everything clamped in close to the frame, as close as possible, and got everything tacked in. So 
uh, what we're going to do next weekend is a lot of the stuff needs to be trimmed. For example, here. Example there. 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 The front of the cross member. The overlap. Uh, still got some areas to trim on the body mounts, but so uh, next weekend we'll get everything trimmed to fit and then we'll start putting the bottom half on. We've got to do a little repair there, which is uh, the same area that we repaired on the side of the frame whenever uh, the frame was upright. Right now it's upside down on the rotisserie. So I'm going to figure out some with the spring pocket. It didn't, it didn't come with anything, I don't think, for that. It came with some pieces for the front spring pocket, which may or may not use. It came with a section for this, this, and this, and the section in here, but I don't know if I'm going to use that or not. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're moving right along, getting close. Uh, like I say, next weekend we'll trim all these pieces, start putting the plates on. I think it's going to go pretty quick. There's not a whole lot of bending to going on. I mean, the X is pretty straightforward. Do have to notch all the way up for the drive shaft, like I said earlier. Once that's done and everything is tacked in place and all the plates are on the frame, then we'll flip it back over. I'm going to mock up the, uh, the back bumper and the front bumper. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to weld the, the nuts for the bumper inside the frame and then plate over it so, it won't, so the nuts will be welded to the frame. So all you got to do is stick a bolt in it whenever it comes time to hang the bumpers. But I, I want to mock them all up and make sure they still line up square and level front and back. Uh, then I got to buy a little bit of plate for the remainder of the cross member once it's flipped over and with the extra plate, whatever little pieces need here and there, we can get out of that. Uh, once that's done, I'm going to hand it over to Bobby G and he's going to weld it all up while we move, while I move on to the, to the 68 body work. So I'm going to have a couple things going on here. So hope you guys enjoyed this, bring you guys back next weekend. Once we, get some work in. Thanks for watching. All right, today's Saturday, April 23rd, uh, 2022. I'm out here working on this frame. Uh, so far this morning, what I've got done is I got all these little pieces in spot. Uh, had to put some bolts in these holes right here so that they line up when the time comes. Started on the cross member. I had to trim both sides because they were too tall, trimmed them, and then I trimmed the center, and I just finished grinding it down right now, so still plugging away, other side's done the same, so I think what I'm going to move on to now is probably this piece right here, as you can see that needs to be trimmed down, that needs to be trimmed down, so plugging away here. Went ahead and welded up the cross member just because I was going at it. It's not quite done yet, but it's it's getting there. Still got to trim that lip when we flip it over. So, bring you guys back once we get some more work. All right, so here we are about seven hours later. Uh, I got these pieces put on. Both sides. And I got the X on. I also notched the tunnel out for the drive shaft. So I didn't do a whole lot of recording today. It's kind of a one man show over here today. Um, but what I do plan to do is, is all that's gonna get welded up, possibly put a plate vertical. Uh, it was a lot of trimming on this X. It, it didn't just fall in place. There was a lot of trimming. Uh, had to trim this side, had to trim that side, had to trim the back a little bit. A little bit on this side too, a little bit of trimming, but it's getting there. We'll put these pieces on like I mentioned earlier. Uh, need to put the spring pocket reinforcement in, but I gotta figure out where the hole goes. So, take it to the other side here. So, all that's left now, is these back pieces i gotta fix that first though put y'all zoom y'all in a little bit gotta fix that first two long back pieces then you gotta take it off the rotisserie and so i can do the back here 
it's got some pieces here but but really not long maybe maybe another six hour day to get these two pieces and those back pieces in and then i still got to get a piece for the front of the cross member top side and figure out the bumper bolts and stuff like that but it's moving right along well i got to chop these up too those go upright I might take that reinforcement out and put it back in. We'll see. We'll see. So moving right along. This is a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot, lot of work, a lot more work than it looks like. But everything's getting fitted on, and then once once it's fitted on, we start welding it up. So if you guys enjoyed this, bring you guys back next week and we get some more work in. Alright, here we are, about two and a half hours later. And I reached a stopping point, so all I did today was chop off whatever excess was on the original and then put this piece on, which wasn't that hard, but it did require a lot of trimming. Back here it gets real skinny, which it does that from the, from the factory on the bottom. It's skinnier than the top, so I took a little bit of effort, um, but it's in. So, didn't even bother cleaning up. It's getting ready to storm here. I think we're supposed to get some hail. So that was a good stopping point. So tomorrow I'm gonna come back, patch that little spot right there, do this other side, and then uh, see what else we got. It's gonna be a little bit of trimming around the body mounts and stuff. But my goal is to get all these pieces on <clears throat> and possibly get it flipped over um, by Friday night. Got to go to the steel yard get some get some more plate to finish up little odds and ends, but that's the plan. I'd like to get all these pieces on by this weekend and then actually start welding the whole thing. So I'll bring you guys back tomorrow once we start on that other other section there. All right, we're back at it. It's Tuesday the twenty sixth, about three o'clock, and today I'm going to put this last piece on here. Hopefully it goes pretty good. I do have to replace that right there. And then uh, this will be the last of all the pieces. So I'll bring you guys back once we get some work in. All right, so here we are a couple hours later. Just to recap, I got all the, the, the pieces that the kit came with on this uh, frame reinforcement kit, uh, except the rear. I got to take it off the rotisserie to put the, the rear pieces on. But just to recap, it's a pretty complete kit. Uh, the price is right. It saved a bunch of time. It did need a lot of trimming, but everything was labeled and everything was cleaned up and all the pieces were basically cut oversized. So I'd rather it be oversized and undersized. So all the plates are on the frame now and pretty soon here we're going to start welding the entire thing up. So I'll just give you a quick walk around here. We went around the body braces. I covered the holes on the bottom because... Uh, I'm going to weld the, uh, the motor mounts in place when it comes time to mock the motor up. Notched out the tunnel. I got to order a pair of convertible mounts up front. Like I say, the back pieces, I got to take it off the rotisserie and put on some saw horses to get to those. We made the brackets for the uh, pit bull wishbone, so we got to strengthen those up a little bit. So since all the plates are on now, it's time to start welding it up later this week into the weekend and then molding it all out. So I, I would say we're about halfway there, about 50% done on this frame. Um, I'd like to get it done by the end of May, which I think is doable. So I put these put these bolts in there before I welded the plates on just to make sure that they're still gonna fall in place. So we gotta notch the cross member once we flip it over to put a couple extra pieces. I'm gonna buy uh, some extra uh, steel and make some smaller pieces that the kit didn't come with. Maybe cap this off up front, cap the sides possibly. Uh, we'll see. So 
Hope you guys enjoyed this little update here. Like I say, we're gonna start welding it up. Uh, overall, I didn't use too much materials on this. I probably used maybe maybe 20 cutoff wheels and maybe three grinding rocks, grinding discs, three or four. And got to buy a bunch more for when it comes time to mold it. So all this thing is going to get entirely welded up and grind smooth. And I'm undecided on if I want to powder coat it or if I want to bodywork it and paint it. Uh, we'll see once the once the mold job starts, see how I like it or not. So bring you guys back uh, later this weekend when we start welding up.